Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on geometry. In the hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B is given parallel to E, D and A, F is given parallel to C, D. Angle A, B, C is 90 degrees. Angle C, D, E is 140 degrees. And angle D, E, F is given as 120 degrees. Calculate the angle EFA, which is this part of the angle we need to find out. Now let us start with a small construction over here where we are going to draw a line parallel to the sides AF and CD. So let us draw it over here and let it touch the line AB and we are going to give the point the name as G. Now after this construction, let us consider the pair of the parallel line CD and EG. Now for these two parallel lines, the line ED acts as a transversal line which cuts the two lines at the point E and at the point D. And here angle E and angle D act as co-interior angles of the given two parallel lines. So we can write over here angle CDE plus angle DEG is equal to 180 degrees. That is the co-interior angles of the parallel lines CD and EG. Now CDE we have seen the value is 140 degrees. So let us write over here 140 plus we need to find out the angle DEG is equal to 180 degrees. So we are trying to find out the small part of this angle. So here we get angle DEG as 180 degrees minus 140 degrees. So that gives us a value of 40 degrees. So that is the value of angle DEG. So let us write over here 40 degrees. Now let us consider the pair of parallel lines EG and AF. Now for the parallel lines EG and AF, the line EF is acting as a transversal line which cuts the two lines at the points E and F. So again, the angle E and angle F acts as a co-interior angles of the two parallel lines. So we can now write here angle FEG plus angle EFA is equal to 180 degrees and in the previous state we had got the value of this part of angle E as 40 and the total angle E is given as 120. So the small part that is angle FEG becomes 120 minus 40. So it is 80 degrees. So let us substitute over here the value of FEG is 80 degrees plus angle EFA or AFE is equal to 180 degree and since we have to find out the value of angle EFA in the given question so let us write EFA is equal to 180 degree minus 80 degrees so that gives us a value of 100. So we got the value of angle EFA as 100 degrees. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. So if you know any other way of solving this example, then feel free to comment below. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.